Hello and welcome to our 35th national dish, cachupa from Cape Verde, or Cape Verde, depending where you're from. So basically this is a very meaty stew, very hearty soup. I don't know soup stew. I'm starting to believe that as a young kid I was only given bad soups because when I started this journey of making an every national dish, every time I'm like looking forward to soup, it's like, oh my god, I don't like soups. But none of them have disappointed so far. So Cape Verde is an archipelago that consists of 10 islands of the west coast of Africa. And some fun facts about this country is that apparently it's rude to eat in public without sharing. So unless you have enough to go around, eat in private. Let's see what else. Uh, apparently more Cape Verdeans, I think that's what you call the people, Cape Verdeans. There are more Cape Verdeans abroad than in the country. One cool thing that I found is, you know those... The, the Dead Sea, right? Where you float in Israel and stuff like that. I always found that like so interesting going to the Dead Sea and, and float in the salty ocean or whatever, even though it's not an ocean. But I found that Cape Verde has something like that. And in my research, I it turns out that many places in the world have something like that. And that really interested me because I always wanted that feeling to see how it was. But I don't know, I just didn't really want to go to Israel. It doesn't like really attract me or anything. But now I know. In my research, I came across a story that says that in 1968, an American cargo ship destined for Brazil vanished. And two weeks later, and 2,000 miles of course, it washed ashore of Cabo Verde. With the crew of the ship nowhere to be found, the crew seized the shipment where they had four containers full of the most, cu most cutting-edge synthesizers and keyboards at the time. They decided to split it evenly across the schools from Cape Verde. And years later, that shipwreck fueled a musical revolution across the country. Anyway, this is my first recipe where three days after I'm done cooking, I got to rummage through the garbage to figure out how many grams of whatever I use because I was not taking notes. And please, if you like this, subscribe or just share it to a friend, someone that might like it. I give this recipe 10 out of 10. Yes, a bit time consuming, but delicious.